How can young people best prepare themselves for work? I think if you're preparing to work in a leisure centre, then perhaps get some work experience in, in your local leisure centre, so approach your leisure centre manager or one of your local leisure providers and see if you can get a, a work experience through your school. There are quite a lot of leisure centres that offer one week and two week work experiences. Um, and then perhaps volunteering, also a good idea, so go and work for nothing. Uh, see how that gets on and then hopefully if you get some small paid employment then that's always a good start as well. What general skills do young people need when starting their first job? Uh, again if you're looking for a job in leisure then I think a bit of enthusiasm, uh, a smiley face uh, and hopefully if you've got one particular skill or some niche that you can uh, hold over the other people so a, a, little, uh, a little area that's better than anybody else then you uh, might get a bit of a head start. What are the most important employability skills in your opinion? Again, I think if you've got a bit of flexibility, um, if you can have the enthusiasm, uh, customer care skills for us, we're, we're dealing with customers all day long, that's what our job is, to deal with customers, so those would be three of the, the main ones I would have thought. What qualifications and experience would a young person need to have to increase their chance of getting a job in your sector? Oh, it, it varies really, I mean qualifications aren't particularly the, the most important thing for working in leisure. Um, we, we get people who come with no qualifications at all or people who come with first and master's degrees. So I, I think it, it's not that important if, to work in a leisure facility. The one qualification you will need if you're working in a particular area, for example, if you're looking to be a football coach, then you'll need a football coaching qualification. That was always handy. Uh, but general skill for working in general leisure environments, um, the, co the, the qualifications aren't, aren't that important. What does a typical day look like for someone in your position? There is no such thing as a typical day in leisure. Uh, it might start off really dull, it might un end up very really exciting, it might end up really, really quite dramatic, you never know. It's, uh, every day is different and that's part of the fun of working in leisure. We'll, we'll deal with from very mid minor incidents uh, to, to very, very major incidents, you know. Uh, in, in worst, worst case scenario, you know, there, there might be a fatality or a, a possible drowning incident at one of the swimming pools, so there could be something fairly serious in terms of a health and safety issue, but uh, every day is different and that's uh, half the fun of working in leisure. What information do you look for on a young person's CV? Uh, if I'm looking for a CV, then I, I, would, I would expect it and hope it's well written. Uh, it's your first chance to make an impression with an employer, so... Uh, do get it checked out by a responsible adult or somebody who's experienced in writing CVs because it's your, it's your first step really and you, if you can't get past the front door and get the interview then it doesn't matter who you are so get that checked out and, and make it look really presentable and neat and preferably typewritten. Um, after that then you, know, you become yourself when you get to the interview stage but at least make sure you get past that first stage. What are the routes into your career, A-levels, college, on-job training or, or apprenticeships? Um, varied and, and, and wide in terms of getting into leisure. My job's um, in, in a management job of managing leisure centres and most people start at the, the level of being a lifeguard or being a recreation assistant um, or being a coach or just having an enthusiasm for working in sports. So um, it's generally an, an enthusiasm and somebody who's a keen sportsman. But it's not always, but we have a lot of people who aren't that interested in sport are very good managers. So it can be quite varied. What are the different entry levels to get into a career sector? What what can I expect the progress routes to be? How would I possess? What would I need to do? Is the training or qualifications? Entry levels again are varied. Um, we have openings for, for, for membership advisors, we have openings for uh, coaches, we have openings for bar staff and cafe staff and people working soft play or administration. So there, there are lots of different areas of leisure that you can work in. Uh, and again, you can come in at any level. You can come in at a, a modern apprentice level, you can come in at a graduate level or a very high level. Um, so it's fairly varied and uh, really we just take people on their merits. What would a typical average day look like? What kind of tasks would I be involved with? Um, depends what sort of job you're doing. Um, an average day for somebody working in a basic leisure assistant post would involve setting up a little bit of cleaning, tidying, preparing the building for the customers that come in. That would be a normal day, but as I said before, I don't think there is such a thing as a normal day, and you, you'll deal with what happens on the day, and that's, that's what makes you who you are. Do people stay in your company in process, or do they need to move to further their career? Both. Um, a lot of people stay with us and progress from a very basic level. Um, most of us started at, at a basic level and work through duty managers, up to assistant managers, up to managers and group managers. Um, other people will have to move jobs if jobs beco don't become available, but leisure's nas nationally uh, recognised, so you can get a job in any leisure centre if you have basic skills. So it's, uh, it's, fairly, it's a fairly transferable skill.